Everyone is invited to join the men's department for the third Sunday night service to be held tonight at 6 p.m. in the sanctuary. The speakers will be Elder Tony Dixon and Elder Anthony Robinson. Presiding Bishop Charles E. Blake and Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. encourage everyone to register to vote for the 2020 election. To assist in this effort, the Kojic Counts Committee is pleased to introduce Rocks Online. Visit rocks.online forward slash Kojic to register or to confirm registration for the election, order an absentee ballot, and more. This tool is available to everyone in the community. Join Kojic Counts in getting souls to the polls so your voice can be heard. Early voting in North Carolina is now through Saturday, October 31st. For a listing of early voting locations, visit ncsbe.gov. Everyone is invited to Tuesday night service to be held October 20th at 7.30 p.m. in the Multipurpose Room. The speakers will be Missionary Diane Adams, Missionary Tabitha Rayford, and Elder Reggie Bowden. Bishop Wooden will appear on the Let's Talk America radio show, hosted by Dr. Alan Keyes on Wednesday, October 21st at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Details on how to listen will be sent via constant contact. Join Bishop Wooden and the Happy Warriors every Saturday in the fight to save the lives of the unborn at a Woman's Choice Abortion Clinic located at 3305 Drake Circle in Raleigh. Participating for one hour in prayer will be greatly appreciated. Please be reminded you now have a choice of attending one of two services on Sunday mornings. Join us at 8 a.m. or 11 a.m. for Sunday worship service. You can also join the Upper Room Church of God in Christ every Sunday at 11 a.m. and Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. for the live stream of our services on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will bring a fresh word from the Lord relevant to our times and equip you to contend for the faith. The Upper Room Church of God in Christ continues to abide by CDC social distancing guidelines. Our ushers will seat all individuals entering the sanctuary and overflow areas. Only members from the same immediate family will be permitted to sit together, and everyone will be seated using designated markings providing a six feet diameter around each area. Additionally, temperature checks and hand sanitizing protocols have been added to further promote measures of safety. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. For additional information on face covering requirements in North Carolina, visit nc.gov. Our giving is crucial to the success and operation of the church during this time. There are several ways to give to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. For online giving, please visit easytithes.com forward slash URC. The Easy Tithe app can also be downloaded from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. You may visit our website, upperroomgospel.org, and select the Giving tab. Or you can mail your gift to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Post Office Box 447, Garner, North Carolina, 27529. For text to give, text URC Give to 45777 and you will receive a link to complete your giving. If using the offering envelope, we encourage you to complete all vital information, such as your member number if applicable, name, date, address, and other information which uniquely identifies you. This will ensure all giving is properly credited. As always, thank you very much for supporting the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. How is your reputation among those with whom you worship and do business? Do you keep your word, pay your bills on time, and give your employer an honest day's work? Or do you jeopardize the name of Jesus by compromising with the world? Character counts. And Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. reminds readers of these important character issues and points out God's true measure of integrity, which defines genuine success in his book, Building Faith, and perfecting character. To purchase, send an email to info at powooden.org with the subject, Bishop's Book. Hello, ladies. Can you believe that the event that we have been waiting for all year long is finally upon us? Women's Weekend 2020. Wow, what a year this has been. And what better way to close out this year than for the women of God to come together in fellowship, in praise, in worship with one another. We're opening up on Thursday night with our bishop who always has a word for women. Then on Friday night is our women only service. Yours truly will be the speaker. We have a special guest, Psalmist Amani Rayford. And Saturday is our Sister's Day Out. And ladies, you know, 
We need our time. This is our time to come together, enjoy one another, and have fellowship in the beauty of holiness. We're keeping the same theme preserved to uphold God's truth, but I tell you, God has given us an addendum to that theme. Coming from Psalm 92 verse 10, Thou shalt be anointed with fresh oil. Oh, women of God, you want to hear what God is saying to us in that passage. I believe that it is a prophetic word that God has sent specifically for the women of God. Women's Weekend is going to be amazing. Get ready, women. God has great things in store for us, and I'm excited about our time together. Scan the QR code now to bookmark the registration page for Women's Weekend 2020. Also, visit our YouTube channel or Facebook page to view the sit-down conversation between First Lady Pamela Wooden and Evangelist Evangela Williams as they discuss all of the details of Women's Weekend 2020. Women's Weekend 2020, preserved to uphold God's truth. Hey, I think you're